welcome welcome back to Incotech CAD tutorial today this is the design the 2d design we're going to do you can see that this is quite different from the ones we've been doing this one particularly have dimensions given in angular uh, form we have 67 degrees here this line is 65 uh, unit in length but inclined to this vertical line at 67 degrees and this is um, 45 in length but inclined at 99 degrees to this line so how do we do that this is um, achievable by applying simple mathematical uh, you know arithmetic operation and addition and subtraction so let's just get to it make sure you subscribe to this channel like this video and subscribe please thank you so first up we're going to draw the baseline 80 mm We'll draw the left hand side line, this line here, 60 mm. We'll draw this line up 15 mm. So let's get that done first. So go to home, line. The baseline is 80 mm. This line here, you can place this. Double tap or double click your scroll bar on your mouse to bring your design close to you. To bring it to size so it's not too far now select this we have 15 units here 15 millimeters so 15 then enter again we have 60 millimeters here now we have this the next thing to do is we could have easily started with this line but right now there's no dimension for this line it means we have to follow the left hand side to get since all these dimensions are given this is 65 at 67 degrees this is 45 at 99 degrees this is 30 this is 36.25 at 139 degrees to this line before this line comes down once this line comes down at 80 units it will automatically give you this dimension so you cannot follow this route we we'll follow the left hand side now we we'll start by drawing 65 units of line a line with 65 units in length at angle 67 degrees to the vertical line here so 65 units line 65 units hold your shift button on your keyboard and tap on less than you know the less than sign after that you can see the less than sign on where you are seeing the angle there now we are going to try to calculate the angle you can see if it was like this this is zero degrees you can see polar 68.6817 less than zero degrees that zero degrees simply means you are still on the fourth quadrant so if you want to move you move in anti clockwise direction look this is 90 this is 180 this is 270 and on coming like this you will meet 360 which is still what you're turning back to zero after completing a circle so in that case we have 67 degrees here and we cannot calculate like this because this is not a clockwise movement we will have to calculate an anti-clockwise movement so we will simply look at this simply look at this now calculate from this place to this place 90 you know literally when you are moving in anti-clockwise direction you will have 90 180 270 you know if you should draw a line a vertical a horizontal line like this a straight line to form a cross you will have 90 180 270 so 270 plus 67 will give us 337 degrees it means this particular line is 237 degrees away from the first quadrant here you know from the first line here so we are going to say 337 degrees you can see that is a you know a correct sketch for us now let's look at the second line this line is at 45 units but 99 degrees to this line right so first of almost 45 units but shift less than to get the angle the angle is 99 degrees away from this line so we'll have to calculate again so if this line comes like this is 90 right when i come like this you can see the angle increasing 
to 157. And you can see that this line is away from this place, like this, by 99 degrees up to this point. So we'll have to remove 99 from 157. So 99, sorry, 157 degrees minus 99 will give us 58 degrees. 58. You see that? That's quite okay. Now, you can see that there's an upward movement of 30 units. Upward movement, movement, upward movement of 30 units. So we have 30 here. We have 30 here. Now, we have another line, 36.25 but inclined to this vertical line at 139 degrees so 36.25 at an angle just try to calculate your angle from here like this is 139 degrees therefore i will have to calculate from this place from this place to this place is 90 and this is 139 if you remove 90 from 139 i'm left with 49 so therefore 90 plus 49 will give me what i'm looking for that's okay we'll go back again and go down by 80 units so 80 and you can see where we are from this point we'll simply join this line there you will see that this 38 degrees will come out naturally let's see and let's find out after one with dimension from this place closed this is the design quite simple yes now we are going to dimension our work simply go to annotate this here the distance between here and here was 36.25 that is too good so I will have to modify it a little to reduce the text size to three units now let's look at it and see it's not too small right it's okay it's quite okay now now we will um, select a line again from this place to this place was 45 again from this place to this place was 65 right this is inside i want it to be out so now again from this place to this place was 80 mm from although you can still keep using the aligned you can change it to linear doesn't matter but if it's linear uh, if it's aligned you can't use linear for it it will give you a linear dimension now we have 60 there we have 80 here now we're almost true but let's get the angles out the angular dimensions from this place to this place was 67 degrees from this place to this place was 139 degrees and from this place to this place was 99 degrees can you see that you know i told you this one will come out naturally the angle between here and this line so look at it from this place to this place is 38 degrees you see that because your designs are correct from the left hand side all the direction you follow if you follow it well it will definitely give you what you're looking for so thank you for watching this video i think that is all there is to do here no other dimension okay one more dimension here 30 units linear from this place to this place is 30 obviously so that is all for now we're done with this thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to this channel 
and like the video comment uh, below thank you see you in our next video